<laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Tech Sushi. Tech Sushi. Yes, we got a exciting new episode where we have our lovely, lovely friend, Christian Felton, who's a lecturer here at North Carolina A&T. Um, she's going to give us some really nice insight on some super cool tech. Hey, Christian. So we're so excited to have you here, man. Thank you. Could you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yes. So my name is Christian Felton. I'm from Marshallville, Georgia, and I've been working at A&T for five years, which is crazy. But it's been a great five years. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, so what all do you teach? So I teach in the math department, and I typically have what are called the gatekeeper courses. Mm -hmm. So like the algebra and trig and uh, calculus, things of that nature, where basically when you're coming into college, those introductory courses. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Mm -hmm. Okay, Christian, so tell me about how did you find out about the light board? How did you, why were you interested in using that? I'm really interested in knowing. Yes. So actually, pre-pandemic, um, I had an online course, and I, I'm i really big about my students, especially in an online course, seeing me, because an online course can be very, it's already distant learning, and then, you know, students feel like, who's my instructor? I'm just out here in this class, and I didn't want my students to feel that way. So I said, I want my students to literally feel like they're in my class, like in-person class, course with it being online so I went over um, to the center and was like you know what kind of capability or technology do you all have and then they told me the light board and I was like what is that that's awesome <laughs> so how have you used the light board now that you've been introduced to it and been using it for a while yes so um, like I record my lecture videos on there and basically just for those who may not know like a light board it's literally <laughs> a board with a light around it and it's clear on uh, both sides so you can write on it but the thing that I like about it is that the students can see me as well because I'm pretty or I can be at times very animated in my teaching and I want them to see the facial expressions where it's like no at the two <laughs> um, instead of just seeing my handwriting so I've only used it for like lectures. Awesome mm -hmm. so we're talking about like when you're walk, working through a math problem, is that kind of like mm -hmm. like trying to give them example problems? Or what's like what's the most recent one that you've done that you use it for? Um, yeah, so working out math problems. So in whatever course it is, I'll do like section one point, blah, 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 and then do examples for whatever you know topic we're covering. Awesome, awesome. And have your students given you any feedback? Have you, mm -hmm. I mean, what's some of the things they're saying, like their experiences? I have opinionated students. <laughs> um, <laughs> So, yes, they actually really enjoy it. They like being able to see the instructor, which may be contrary to what, you know, other people would think, um, because it does help them to feel a bit more connected um, or they know, like, what you look like. Now, I did have one student one time um, throughout the semester. He was like, hey, Mr. Felton. So I knew, like, you've never watched any of my videos. <laughs> yeah, I know you've never seen it. That's so never funny. One. Um, so, yeah, that's the thing. And... Um, yeah, I mean, that's the biggest thing. They get to see you. I forgot what I was talking no, about. No, and, and, and yeah, just the getting question? their students' experiences with it, their oh, feedback. Yeah, yeah. their feedback. Um, so they love that. They also love, like, the, the different colors. And I will say, so um, during the pandemic, you know, we were sent home kind of, like, immediately. Yeah. And I was like, okay, let me get over there and try to record as many videos as I can. So, unfortunately, I was only able to record, like, half of a course. Well, that's still a lot. So, <laughs> I'm sure I it's had a lot. to, right, it was. Yeah. <laughs> so, I had to record the rest on Zoom, which you could still see my face, but it just wasn't the same. And that's the semester I received the most feedback because those students saw, like, one version versus the white light board version, and they were like, whoa, I love this light board. I love the change. I literally got chills, yeah. like, that you could compare. <laughs> like, you were, like, halfway yeah. through a semester, and you're like, let me, let's see what, like, most people wouldn't, like, go from one to the other, but you were kind of, based upon the situation, having That's to use I a different had. one. Yeah. So there was a real difference, mm -hmm. and, and students kind of liked that different experience. And went out of their way to email me to let me know. That's huge. Yeah, it wasn't like I asked them. They were like, oh, just to let you know, I really like this. See, sometimes people could just think technology is just like, well, we're just going to try something new, but this is actually showing more interaction. Your mm -hmm. students are appreciating it. They see a difference, mm -hmm. and they appreciate it, and they like it. And I think, period, you know, they appreciate the fact that, okay, you've taken the time out to – not only use this technology, but to, you know, use the technology that helps me to feel a bit more connected. And that in itself 
connects them to you because they're like, clearly you care about me. Person, I don't know if it's personability. Is that yeah, a word? Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use that. I don't know, yeah, today. we're sure. Yeah. We're going to use that today. But like <laughs> just being able to have that personal connection with your instructor mm -hmm. is invaluable. It's so huge. awesome. So Christian, I have a couple questions. Can you tell okay. me a little bit about the pros and cons of it? Sure. So I've mentioned um, a lot of the pros. Like it really comes down to like student, student mm -hmm. engagement um, and them being able to see you. But some of the cons that I've experienced, um, this one's kind of silly, but it's for real. Like, you got to make sure to wear a solid colored oh, yeah. shirt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the first time I did it, I had like a striped shirt mm. and it just got lost, you know, oh, in translation yeah. gotcha, with the gotcha, writing. Gotcha. Um, this isn't really a light board con. It's just like a con for me. And maybe it's how I set it up. Like, I would come in and record, especially going into the pandemic, like, four or five videos in mm -hmm. one setting. And so because students are literally seeing you, I want to keep my energy up. So oh, it's yeah. probably like an actor, oh, an actress. Oh, yeah, you got to have a presentation. You're like, oh, I'm so oh, yeah. tired. But, hey, yeah. two squared yeah. is. There we know, go, like there we that. go. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so that's probably the biggest con. You want to make sure that. Got you. Got to well, make sure I mean, that energy is transferred. still yep. there. Yep. So yep. you yep. probably want to space it. And then the other thing as far as the light board is concerned itself, it is kind of smaller Mm -hmm. In size, um, I know they have larger sizes. But yeah, they come, the technology come in larger sizes. So mm -hmm. We're getting that. We're getting that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but as of right now, just a little bit smaller. So I write huge, mm -hmm. um, but I just kind of have to bring it back a little bit. Great, great, great. Yeah. Well, definitely appreciate your time and yeah. your feedback, man. We're excited to have you. We're mm -hmm. excited to have you at the university and to share the great content with all our viewers and stuff. So, hey, if you're looking for an expert in light board. And please use it. It's a it's a great thing. Yeah. So I'd say I encourage faculty and to come out and use it. And we have uh, reservations available right here in the multimedia lab in the studio, lower level Blueford Library and ITD Deep. <laughs>